been nearly three months since a 7.2 magnitude earthquake devastated Haiti, killing many and leaving others without shelter or belongings. Now this, coupled with recent political unrest in the country, has left many Haitians fighting for survival. Today, News 12's Jordan Kassane is learning about what our city is doing to provide some relief to Haitians in need. The NYPD and other city officials gathered at the Red Hook Container Terminal today in order to send off the nearly 100 tons of supplies donated by local business owners in New York City to those recovering from the horrific earthquake that struck Haiti in August. The Haitian people seemingly unable to catch a break, but they are still full of hope, says Chief Claude Celestin of the NYPD, who led today's charge. We have reason to hope because love, kindness, Generosity, resilience will always prevail over any kind of disasters. Chief Celestin was born and raised in Haiti, but says he feels privileged and blessed to have migrated to the United States. A country that offers a lot of opportunities and a promising future. Opportunities that become even more limited in Haiti after the country has been hit with so many natural disasters. Juanita Holmes, chief of patrol with the NYPD, spoke today as well, thanking New Yorkers who donated money, supplies, and their time to relief efforts in Haiti for rising to the occasion. If you want to see how generous the people of New York City are, you don't have to look far. We gathered 100 tons of supplies, enough to fill 11 shipping containers. The 11 shipping containers filled with things like non-perishable items, baby formula, and diapers are expected to be in the hands of those Haitian people suffering the effects of the earthquake in about five days. In Greenwood, I'm Jordan Kassane, News 12.